I was gonna say, do you know what's better than saying beating your friends, but right now Pat is no friend of mine. <laughs> What's up, bikers? I'm Johnny Thompson from Fit for Racing, and back due to popular demand, we are giving you Workout of the Week. This week, we've taken part A of day one of the Enduro program, which you can find online at fitforracing.com if you want to take your riding and fitness to the next level. This is a strengthening superset of four different movements to form a good foundation of strength moving into the off season. This is the type of workout you would do before a metabolic conditioning workout that's high intensity in short intervals. We're not gonna show you that today. If you were on the full program, you would see it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel though, and you'll see that type of workout in Workout of the Week in the next few weeks. This workout is on the minute every minute, meaning you do one movement and then rest the remaining time within the minute. Because we've got four movements, we're gonna add an additional minute rest at the end. The movements are back squat, pull up, double dumbbell deadlift, and push up with a variation. You can see that in a little while. And then we're gonna rest and we're gonna do that three times round. This is a really efficient way to get lots of movements in that are gonna strengthen you really well to become a better rider. Start. We're going, we're going, we're going. Well, we've got five seconds and we're going. How much you got on there, Pat? <laughs> It's important that you do all of these movements really, really well. If you're inexperienced, then please get someone to look at you in person or film yourself from the side, analyze at light weight. This is a high bar back squat. The bar is resting on Pat's traps with a narrow-ish hand position. All the load is on the back and not in the wrist. If you struggle with mobility, you can move your hands wider, but don't let the bar come down your back, otherwise that changes the mechanics of the whole movement. Once you're there, look at your feet. We're going for shoulder width or whatever feels comfortable and natural through your hips. Then with your torso braced and as high as possible, squat whilst pushing your knees forwards in front of your toes, tracking outwards to squat between your hips and not over your thighs. So this is a nice Olympic back squat, which is gonna be really good for performance and not just power lifting. That is an entirely different squat altogether. So for this quad dominant high bar, much safer, much better for the hips and better for riding. Woo! So the back squats, the back squats, we are doing three to five reps. That's in a really good strengthening zone. That took about 20 seconds, did it Pat? Yep. We're gonna rest the remaining time within this minute, and then we're gonna go on to pull-ups. Pull-ups are self-explanatory, but just take a quick look at how we're gonna do them. Double overhand grip at about handlebar width, then you're gonna activate through your shoulder blades and brace your core in a hollow position here so that you're not overextending the spine. And then chin over bar, all the way back down to a dead hang, and then back up. So no half reps. So always full extension at the bottom, chin over bar. If you can't manage that without help, then by all means use a band or an inner tube, which is gonna give you some assistance and help you get the range, which is more important than a shorter range and more difficulty. Whew. Eight. Nine. 10, eight. eight. For the deadlifts, we're using double dumbbells and we're doing stiff leg deadlifts. So feet uh, directly under hips, knees back. So it's stiff leg, but not knees locked. So the knees are slightly bent. And then from there, standing up with a priority on low back curve. This remains the same throughout the movement. So Pat's gonna stand up, bam. Clench my fist in your ass. <laughs> Good activation through the glutes there, Pat. 
<laughs> and we're going eight to 12 reps on that for a little bit more volume. It's not gonna pull you out of position under fatigue because we've got such heavy squats. We want this to be a little lighter and an assistance to the heaviness of the squat. Heavy squats. <laughs> now we're gonna do a push up or variation of. So we're gonna break this into three small sets. One forward, one back for five. Rest on the knees, swap the opposite direction. On the knees, and then attack position push up, elbows tall, about handlebar width. And then, that's in a minute, so we've got that done in just under 30 seconds. An additional minute, we'll give a minute and a half off before we go back on the back squats. This is a good thing about training with somebody else. Or have this video on the background, on in the background, and try and match what we're doing. Comment below if you're doing more weight, more reps, and you're beating us. That'd be great to see. Or otherwise, comment anyway, and tell us what weights you're using, and what rep ranges you're doing during this workout. What weights are you using, look? 25. What are you on? 30s. Really? So you don't go to 30. I think this is where Bro Town comes in. We started off at three to five reps, which we were using pure science to get strong. But you know what's better than science? Blissful ignorance. <laughs> Blissful ignorance. I was going to say, do you know what's better than saying beating your friends, but right now Pat is no friend of mine. Go! <laughs> <laughs> How many? Nine. Oh, I did eight. That was dizzy as fuck. Nine. Nine. Oh man. Whew. Tell me, strength training isn't good for your capacity as well. Whew. Did you? Yeah. I did seven, seven, seven. Whew. And that's it, what's that? 12 and a half minutes and done. Obviously we did a really good warm up for each of those movements. And we made sure that we were safe under the load, particularly because you were a little bit fatigued as well. But the nature of the workout is we're doing opposing muscle groups but also splitting that up with upper lower. So you get so much goodness crammed in to such a little amount of time is the most effective way to build strength, particularly for riding and being an athlete. If you want to know more, or you simply want to sign up to the best program for mountain bikers out there, visit fitforracing.com 
sign up and I will personally email you and say thank you. See you on the other side. Peace.